great people. So what's your art? What's your mastery? What are you great at? What are you precise at? What do you want to see more of? Do you know? Well, peep the following. I'll tell you. Peace, people. It's me, Arlene J. Ramsey, CEO and founder of Everyone Let's Talk. Also, your favorite self-wealth mentor. So, so, so. You guys know I haven't been on in a while, but I was listening to uh, WBLS this morning, and the fellas, Jagged Edge, was on. They're out with a new album. Um, Steve Harvey played one of their singles, and it's called getting over you i just want y'all to groove with groove with me for a minute i'm gonna play this they're not saying a lot but they are saying a lot so listen for a second and then we're gonna get into today's segment <laughs> See, I waited, I waited for 
fight people I had to play that because we're doing too much fighting too much killing y'all know how I feel about it and I said let me come with a different spin you know and I realized you guys you're too tough to love but you're too afraid to fight the people who've really wronged you which actually tells me that you actually mortify to love because it takes more courage to love than it does to fight you understand what I'm saying you're out here in the streets killing each other there's more murders that then went on you know a brother we grew up with killed his fiance four people died we had three that died in a homicide then you had another person who recently died in the West Ward there's just too much of it going on and um, it's not something that I realized but it's it's how we're going to break or shift this paradigm that has been going on and too many of you are taking your frustrations out on the wrong people and you're still not happy because every time you point that gun and you go like this and you're shooting you're shooting you're shooting the faces that flash before you are the people who have done you wrong when you were five six seven eight nine ten sixteen when you were adolescents, when you were teenagers and you didn't know what to do and you were confused and people were molesting you, people were putting you down, people weren't nurturing you, they weren't even feeding you the right foods. Those are the faces that flash between your before your face, but you're shooting the wrong people and you're killing the wrong people. Now, I'm not saying to go and kill the people who have done you wrong, but I'm saying you will feel mighty as hell if you took your fight out on the people who have tried to break your spirit when you couldn't fend for yourself. Now that you're able to fend for yourself, you're taking your frustrations out on the wrong people and you're still miserable because the people who have done you wrong are still doing the same shit they were doing when they were doing you wrong back then. They are doing it today. And you don't have the heart or the guts to put them in their place or to even stop it. Therefore, you have no glory. Understand what I'm saying? Another reason why we have the greatest sex songs in our era today. Because we don't want to be vulnerable. We can't stand rejection. We kill people when we're rejected. I have a question for you. You've been rejected for so long. Why should you start killing people now? You should be used to it. You should learn how to build and strengthen yourself from it. And you should also understand that the people who have rejected you are not meant for you and meant for your life. You may be fascinated with them at the moment and at the time, but it's not a great connection for you. And that's not to say that it's not a great connection for you in the long run. Something may happen in the future, but as of right now, it may not be a great connection if you and if that other person isn't right but we need to do more love more love okay um you guys aren't mastering anything you're just doing anything every and anything out of emotions but there's no mastery to it there isn't even a mastery to the war and the spiritual warfare that's going on that's why there's mass confusion and devastation without any real lessons no lessons whatsoever everyone is just crying and in grief but there's plenty confusion all right so i don't want to get into how can i say teaching you how to master war at this time because there's too much of that going on let's learn the essence of mastering love or being loving people let's master allowing ourselves to be vulnerable and just receiving love from people who love us and if you that means if you can't get it where you're at it's time for you to start shaking some things up you know what that is you play spades you play enough cards right you're not getting enough you're not getting enough spades you're not getting enough good cards it's like it's time for a new pack or let somebody else shuffle or you got the person who's like the master shuffler shuffle a deck really good and then you go on and play some more you know what it is right doesn't that make sense? It's time we start loving. It is time we start looking to master ourselves instead of doing things on by by accident because you're not getting any respect from that. You know, you're not leaving what kind of legacy are you leaving? Think about it.